During the Great Depression, many groups got together and petitioned the government to get rid of alcohol sales in the United States. That period was called prohibition because it was prohibited to sell alcohol. There were some exceptions. Uh, the head of household could brew some small amount of alcoholic beverages at home for his own personal use. Um, some people were allowed to buy small amounts of alcohol for medicinal purposes. Uh, Listerine still had, among other preparations, still had alcohol in it. So there were some alcohol floating around legally, but there was a great deal of illegal alcohol. Some of it was made by people in stills. Some of it was um, breweries and distilleries that worked sort of off the books and made booze without telling people. Uh, some historic families made a fortune during Prohibition. Um, in Chicago, uh, we had what were called speakeasies, which was a place you could sell illegal, illegal booze. Um, in other places, they are called blind pigs. A blind pig is essentially a speakeasy. Or blind tigers. These were all names for the same thing, a place where you could buy booze illegally. Um, so uh, my grandfather was involved in that business. He would, uh, according to family legend, would bring booze in from Canada. Um, he went to jail for that for a little while. In fact, there were so many violations of the Volstead Act, the law that made prohibition effective, brought pro prohibition in, that they were uh, commandeering, the government was commandeering uh, closed high schools and turning them into makeshift state prisons. Um, they were just packed with people. They had a lot of people breaking these rules. So you would get a short jail term and you would go away for a little while and you'd come back out and start right back up. Um, so my uh, grandfather and his brother-in-laws had a, b a bar on the west side of Chicago called Flaherty's Brown Derby. And they had slot machines in there, um, and they sold booze, and it was open when it wasn't supposed to be open. So we think of that as being uh, ancient history because all of those things ended in 1933 when Prohibition was repealed. Uh, there are some places now that call themselves speakeasies, because they look like the old 1930s nightclubs. Um, they're not selling booze illegally. It's just what they call them. It's the style of um, 1930s um, decor that make it look like that. So um, these things are back now in Chicago. I know you're shocked, but there are people um, who run their bar illegally, even though there is a uh, order from the city and from the national government and the state government saying that these businesses should be should be closed. Bars, restaurants, nightclubs, those kind of things should be closed. They're still open. Not all of them, and probably not even most of them. Um, but on Chicago's north side, I have heard of a bar that is currently remodeling the main area of the bar, but the apartment upstairs is open for business. So I think speakeasies are back.